You're watching The Adrian Bauer Project. Many, many thanks for choosing to click my thumbnail and to watch my content. Very much appreciated as always. And before we go any further, I'd like to say a massive, massive thank you and hello to all my latest subscribers. Uh, I know I don't uh, put content up as much as other creators, uh, but I'm still getting people who are subscribing, obviously liking what I'm doing. Thanks very much and glad that you are here who enjoy the ride with the rest of us. Okay. As you saw from today's thumbnail, today's uh, topic is a plain talking review of one of these rock saws. Uh, these are 500 piece jigsaw puzzles and they all uh, feature classic album covers ranging from metal through to pop, you know, rock, whatever. You think of a, a album cover that you love and they've probably done a jigsaw uh, to go along with it. So. This is what the box looks like. That's what it looks like on the back. I'm not showing you that because it's got my address on the back. So uh, let's crack it open and have a look at it, shall we? Let's have a look what it looks like on the inside. On the floor, it's a top loading box. It's a good sturdy card. So that's what you're going to be faced with inside now. I have got two copies of these. Um, what it was, I had one bought for my birthday uh, a while ago, and then my son Sean bought me one for uh, Father's Day. Didn't realise I got uh, this uh, jigsaw or, already. It doesn't matter because it means I can frame one and still have one to use as a jigsaw whenever I feel like. But uh, like I say, most of my favourite band, so this is why it's a subject today. And um, as you can see, Inside, you get a bag with all your puzzle pieces in. Uh, they are the normal standard uh, jigsaw pieces that you get. I say it's a 500 piece jigsaw. Now, the one that I bought or got, uh, the first one, I think that was the first first run of them. So uh, these look like. Let me just put my glasses on. This looks like this is the second one, and these do actually look a better quality card. What they're on, um, so that's that's something to bear in mind. You know, if you bought one of these uh, when they first came out uh, and you've not made it yet, um, I, I don't think the, the uh, cardboard or what the pieces are are as good a quality as this. this is a better quality, so this must be the second one. And they've improved on what they're using. Um, if you ha do have one of the, uh, the first releases of them, uh, when you open the bag, make sure you either tip it out into the lid or onto a piece of paper because there is a lot of what uh, puzzlers call puzzle dust. Now that is all from when the jigsaw is cut out of the factory. It's it's just like just when you cut wood or anything, you get that that dust and it does make a bit of a mess so beware when you're emptying this however looking inside this bag I'm not going to open this bag by the way because like I say I've got one upstairs already so I'm going to save this one it doesn't look to be as much or any puzzle dust in here at all so I think what they've done they've had a look at how they could improve on the jigsaws and apparently they have. Um, so yeah, it's just a little thing to look out for. Uh, okay, so what more can I say? <laughs> That's what a jigsaw looks like in the bag. Um, another thing that I did find on mine, because like I say, it was when they were first released, so it's probably a bit of a design fault, but when I emptied the pieces out, there were a lot of pieces that were actually fitted together in situ how they, how they were supposed to be. That's not what you want from a puzzle. You want to be doing, you don't want the puzzle half done for you. That, that's ridiculous. 
and I did find that when I was taking some of the paper pieces together they hadn't been cut really very well uh, I don't know if it was a, a blunt blade or what so you do have to be careful how you remove them uh, take them apart but like I said in, in this bag it doesn't look like that is an issue this looks a lot better quality than the one that I do have upstairs it's the same jigsaw puzzle board okay so it's having a better look at that so what you do with your jigsaw you go and open it you go and sort it all out and you go and make it so let's have a look what it make, looks like after you've spent many many minutes uh scratching your head and making the jigsaw and this is what the jigsaw looks like when it's completed the others of you out there who are interested in getting one uh, the dimensions of the final jigsaw when it's completed are about 15 and a half inches by 15 and a half inches which is about 39 centimeters so if you want to frame your completed jigsaw uh, that's the size of the frame that you need to be looking at uh, price wise for these jigsaws they are retailing between 16 and 18 pounds uh, now I've done the jigsaw seen the quality of the pieces I do honestly think that uh, that is around five or six pounds too much okay I understand you've got copyright issues um, all the people that own the rights to the images record companies all that they all need their cut I, I totally understand that but at the end of the day for what it is I think 15 16 17 pounds for this jigsaw is far far too much and they could really be doing with bringing the price down so yeah there you go um even for the better quality pieces i still think it's uh it's a lot of money really for for what it is for a jigsaw 500 piece jigsaw uh not being a big jigsaw fan is that the normal price for one? I don't know, but uh, I say the last time <coughs> I made one, I was a, a young lad, so I couldn't really say. I know, <coughs> excuse me, Ravensburger do a lot of quality jigsaw puzzles. They are expensive, but you know, I have seen some of them and they're, they're piece, really quality pieces on there. But this is what it is, so there we go. Uh, in some tip wise on the overkill uh, cover uh, because just because of the nature of the painting it's, you're gonna have a few head scratching moments on this I did find with this puzzle uh, there are a lot of false fits it's what puzzle makers call false fits that's where the puzzle piece is the right shape and it goes in but it's not in the right place uh, I found that a lot uh, on the edges uh, in fact I didn't do the edges first I, I made the logo motorhead logo overkill bit I did that first because that was going to be the easiest bit then I, I worked on the bottom of the jaw because again that was the easiest bit and basically I did the whole of the middle of the jigsaw before I even attempted doing the frame I think it made it a lot easier because there are a lot of black areas there they all look the same and like I say that's, there are quite a few pieces that are false fits and you think you've got it right and you haven't you know I did that many many times on this you know I was down to to one piece on a section and it wasn't going in and I couldn't understand why um, even the picture looked like it was in the right place but when you took it out you you know and you jiggle everything around a bit you did realize you'd actually got in the wrong bit so it is a bit of a mind scrambler but you don't want a, a jigsaw puzzle that's just going to go straight together like that you do need a bit of a challenge and that will give you a bit of a challenge but other than that jigsaw's a jigsaw isn't it it's a picture you like you know what the picture is and it's what you're interested in and that's all that matters um there were no missing pieces which is great i hate doing I hated doing jigsaws as a kid and there was a bit missing that always used to bug me but uh having said that i've got to think of evil edna's now 
like I said before, I think they are really overpriced. It's something that you're really, really going to going to want. And I think at that price, you, you might pro possibly be better off framing it. Then you've got a nice piece of artwork for your wall. Um, but like I say, the price, I'm going to knock one off for the price. Um, not one off, <laughs> that's a bit rough, doesn't it? Uh, not one evil Edna off. <laughs> Before I get loads of comments. Um, I say the, the one that I made, that was, I think, a first generation one. But the, looking at this, they have improved on the card that they use and the card stock to do the jigsaw on. Uh, so for, I'm going to have to knock half off. Um, the pieces were a little loose, you know, when the jigsaw had done and I wanted to move it, you know, it wasn't sort of like you could be rough with it and move it. You know, it, some of the pieces are very, very easily knocked out. So could be because of, uh, you know, it was the first gen of them, I don't know. So I'm going to knock half a mark off for that. So uh, like I say, I, I wouldn't mind having to go at all the other Motorhead ones. There's loads of Iron Maiden ones as well. If I can get them a little bit cheaper than £18, obviously, because I think that is uh, a bit too steep. But having said that, Medieval Edna's for these 500 piece uh, rock saw jigsaw puzzles. I'm going to give them three and a half evil Edna's. Many, many thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe to my channel and to ring the little notification bell.